Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Twitty and I talk all things luxury fashion and lifestyle. And today I'm so excited because I found the cutest little bag at Dior. And this is actually the least expensive bag that Dior has. And I think that you guys are going to love it. I don't know if I have been living under a rock or what, but I had no clue about this bag. So I thought I would share it with you all in case you're looking for an affordable luxury bag or maybe you're entry level to the Dior fashion house and you don't want to invest a lot of money but you know you still would like a bag that's actually functional that you can wear from Dior and so I happened to stumble across this bag just like browsing the Dior site and again forgive me if you guys already know about this bag or this hack if you will but it was completely new to me and as soon as I saw it I was like oh my gosh I have to have this bag because it was just perfect. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys the bag. I've actually already unboxed it and I've worn it a couple times. So I'll show on the screen a little unboxing for those of you that actually enjoy the unboxing. But I guess this will be more of like a reveal. I saw the bag online and I was going to order it online, but then um, I actually have a Dior store near me and I was out shopping and I was like, let me just run into the store. So they had it in stock. I picked it up from the store and they packaged it in this beautiful bag. So I have the Dior bag with the um, little charm here. And then they even gift wrap the bag for me. So it came in this beautiful Dior box with the ribbon and like I said I've already taken the bag out but I'm just showing you guys in case you're interested in how it comes packaged so that's the box and the bag and then the bag itself actually came in a beautiful Dior dust bag as well and then here is the actual bag so this is the Dior travel pouch and it is a zippered pouch it has one zipper here and then the bag just fully opens up into a pouch um, it's actually pretty large and spacious it's 8.5 inches by 11 inches so it's essentially like a sheet of paper and when I saw this I just thought this was like the cutest most perfect bag it retails for $630 USD which I think is incredibly affordable especially for Dior and I have been wanting this traditional Dior print for quite some time but I'm not really a huge book tote girl um, and then like the mini book tote those are cute but the it, it just wasn't like screaming to me and especially for the price point there were other bags from other designers that I kind of wanted um, over those bags um, and this print comes in a few other bags like the Lady Dior and things like that. But again, I just wasn't like drawn to those bags um, and especially for the price point. So when I saw this for $630, I was like, yeah, I need that. That is so easy. And it's a functional pouch. It almost reminds me of like how girls are using the Louis Vuitton toiletry 26, I believe, as a handbag. Um, I always said, I was that girl that was like, I will never use a toiletry bag as a handbag. I hate it. But then I saw this pouch and I was like, I'm using it as a handbag. So I guess it's all about like what style calls to you and which, you know, yeah, it's just what calls to you and what you're interested in. And for me, like, I don't know if this pouch is supposed to be used. Again, it's just a Dior travel pouch. So I guess it's supposed to be used as like a drop bag, a travel pouch that you can put things in, maybe even cosmetic or makeup. It can be used for a number of different things. But I saw it and I was like, I'm going to use this as a handbag. Now, one thing that's a call out for you guys like I said, I first saw it on the website, I was so excited, and I didn't think about reading the actual description. If you watch my other videos, you guys know I have a bad habit of just ordering stuff and not actually reading all the details. So I didn't read the details, and I thought that this bag was actually 
jacquard like the rest of their bags i thought it was embroidered and so you see here that it has the christian dior on the front and i was like i'm gonna order that bag and i'm gonna get the back embroidered with twitty on it like how people uh personalize the book totes and so i had a whole grand plan y'all to embroider this bag and make it just like pop but when i went into the store and I asked for the bag and they pulled it out. She pulled it out and I realized the bag is nylon. So Dior calls it a technical fabric, but it's really just nylon. And so that did shock me at first. So I want you guys to be aware of that if you are not able to go into a store, you're looking at this bag and you're like, oh my gosh, this is perfect. Um, or you have the same idea that I had where it's like, I'll personalize it and make it look like the other bags. No, you cannot do that with this bag. It is a nylon bag and not an embroidered bag. So the bag is fully nylon. Like I said, it's just one open pouch and you can see here the zipper at the top. So the only leather that you're getting is really this little, um, zipper pull here is a leather pull with the gold hardware and it just says CD on there um, and then the full zipper is gold and then you open it up and it's just pretty much the reverse of I do have a few things in here but it's just the reverse of you're seeing the inside of the like nylon fabric and Again, no pockets, no zippers, no nothing in here. Just um, one open pouch with a zipper pull. And then it does have this one little leather tag here that says, mine says made in Italy. So that's pretty much all the features of the bag. Um, again, this was, to me, I love this bag. Like I think it goes so cute with my little outfit today. Okay, I'll stand up so you guys can get a better view, but then I also have my Dior D-Way slides that match with it perfectly. And it's just a cute little set and I think it's so affordable. And then for me, while I was initially a little turned off by the nylon, I won't lie to you guys, I was, um, I still got it and I'm so glad that I did because I recently, I purchased this because I was going on a trip to Monaco and um, Monaco was absolutely beautiful. But when I got there, we did have one day of rain and that was the day that I was out shopping and going from store to store. And this was perfect because I didn't have to worry about any of my leather bags or my calfskin bags getting ruined by the rain. I literally just threw this under my arm. I was running from store to store and I did not think twice about it, did not care about it at all. And I love that this was easy. Like when I packed this in my bag, I was able to just fold it up, throw it into my carry-on. It was so easy. It didn't take up a lot of space. I was able to wear this with a lot of different outfits and it was just really functional. It's an easy bag. I have a lot of bags that are, you know, I'm not necessarily delicate or gentle with my bag. I actually wear my bags, um, you know, like I normally would, but I do think about, you know, not being too hard wearing on them because we pay a lot for these luxury bags and you know i don't want the leather to get scratched or need repair or things like that and so this was really nice to not have to worry at all like i could literally throw this around i wore this bag um, on a yacht and it was perfect because everyone else had totes and you know their totes were falling over on the boat and I had everything I had my sunscreen I had my brush I had everything that I needed in this bag I zipped it up threw it down on the seat did not have to worry about it also didn't have to worry about it getting sprayed with um, any of the waves or the water splash or anything like that so like I said it's very easy and um, with it being nylon I think like if you were to spill something on it you know it should repel but if not like you can probably easily wipe it off with a cloth so I love this bag I got the traditional blue color but it does come in a few other colors that I saw um, I saw it in pink and white I think I saw it in like a gold or tan cheetah and like a gray cheetah so there are different um, patterns and colors that you can get as well if you're interested in this bag. Um, I did look at the pink and white one in Monaco. I chose not to get it, but um, I did look at that one because I was so obsessed with this bag. I'm like, maybe I should get the pink one to add another color. So it may still be on the list later. But anyway, I'm rambling on. I love this bag. For me, I'm just going to wear it as a pouch. I love it simply as a pouch. I think there's something like really cute and just like 
cool about just like wearing it carefree as a pouch but I have seen people turn it into a crossbody bag and so I think if you get like one of those bag inserts that has the little hooks you can then add a crossbody strap like I said like how people do with the Louis Vuitton toiletry 26 and you can easily turn this into a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag but for now I think that um, this little pouch is just so easy, so cute, and so lightweight and easy. Like, I never thought I'd be, I'm not a big clutch person. I like to be hands-free, but this was just so easy to just, like, throw under my arm, go, and it was just very chic, very easy. I loved it. And um, if you guys haven't seen this bag, I encourage you to go check it out. If you're looking for an affordable Christian Dior bag, um, I bought the pouch version, but I know that it also comes in another like little nylon bucket bag. I'll put that on the screen if you guys are more interested in that style um, and want something a little more hands-free. But this is the bag and I love her. She fits a ton also. And since it's not structured, I was literally able to like pile this thing up with so much and it was still lightweight. It was very easy and I had no problem. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on turning pouches and toiletry bags into handbags. Again, I thought it wasn't my thing, but when I saw this, I thought this was so cute, so easy, and a great way to get this print without having to pay an arm and a leg these days. So let me know your thoughts below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Make sure that you hit the subscription button and then also press that notification bell so that you know never miss an upload from me. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and talk to you all soon. Bye.